Welcome to our biomechanics laboratory. In this lab, we utilize state-of-the-art technology to evaluate human movement with an emphasis on walking and running with both clinical and research applications. Walking is a critical part of our daily lives. It's a complex activity that involves a series of coordinated interactions between the lower limbs and the total body. It's often taken for granted until it's disrupted by trauma, disease, or painful conditions involving our muscles, bones, or nervous system. No two people walk exactly the same way. However, there are patterns that are consistently observed during normal gait. We use the technology in the biomechanics lab to capture and quantify these patterns through gait analysis. Gait analysis is a systematic study of human walking. Information about a person's walk can be obtained by several means. Observational gait analysis entails merely watching a person walk and taking note of the deviations from the norm. The primary limitation of this method is that the human eye cannot observe, process, and interpret these complex, multi-segmental movements simultaneously. Computerized gait analysis can bridge this gap. Computerized gait analysis provides objective details of the joint movements, associated forces, and patterns of muscle activity that aid clinical decision making. Use of this technology can provide insight into causes of gait deviations, optimal treatment plans, and prosthetic alignment, effectiveness of interventions, and patient progress. The evaluation process begins with an appropriate clinical or research referral. Typically, a clinical history is obtained from the patient and other team members. A physical exam is performed to include assessment of range of motion, strength, muscle tone, motor control, sensation, and balance. Subjects are then prepared for the computerized gait analysis. There is a lot of high-tech equipment working together to collect, analyze, and interpret the data of patient's gait or walking pattern. Let's take a look at how this process works. Reflective markers are applied to standard locations on the person's body. These markers are read by the 23 motion capture cameras that track their location as the patient walks, which in turn represents the body position. The patient performs a number of walking trials to ensure that enough data is collected to obtain an average representation of their movement pattern. Simultaneous video from either of the two high-speed cameras is also recorded. The data are merged to construct a 3D model that is then used to calculate joint motion in each of the three planes. The data can be represented in graphic form to show the dynamic range of motion during gait. Additional data is derived from six force plates located in the floor of the lab, as well as the treadmill. These plates measure the force and moments generated by each foot strike. The direction and magnitude of the ground reaction forces, as well as the power and torque in the joints, can then be calculated during different phases of the gait cycle. If metabolic data is being collected, the patient will put on a wireless assembly containing a heart rate monitor, metabolic mask, and other sensors. This provides information on how efficiently a patient is walking. Several computers are used to process the information into a format for interpretation. This dynamic information, combined with a physical examination, observational analysis, and medical history, contribute to form a complete picture of the individual's walking or running pattern. In analyzing pathological gait, we can compare walking patterns of patients with injuries that may require use of prostheses and or assistive devices to uninjured military personnel. This objective information obtained through gait analysis enables us to track a patient's progress and make appropriate changes in their rehabilitation plan as needed. Using this state-of-the-art equipment, we can greatly improve the quality of life for our wounded warriors.